Patch 4 just finally released for Bone Lab. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <clears throat> so as we all know, it's been a very, very long time since we've last got an update for Bone Lab. But just recently, we've finally gotten an update. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the update and what's in it. So the way to get the update is to go to the Oculus mobile app. Then after that, you're going to want to find the Bone Lab store page. Then scroll down to more information. Follow all the buttons that I press here. And finally switch from the version that you're currently on to this version. Now once you load into Bone Lab after updating it, you'll see that it gives you a message saying that it's pre-warming your shaders. So what does this mean exactly? Well that means that the graphics on the Quest 2 finally got better. You'll notice that as I'm looking around, it looks a lot, lot darker. So finally you won't get flashbanged as soon as you load in. Alright, so probably the most important part of this update is that there's finally an in-game mod menu. That's right, I'm not joking. If we head on over to mods, we'll notice that we can go in, downloads, and then look at that. Mod.io. <coughs> oh shit. Once you click on this, it will give you a prompt to tell you to sign in. You'll need to follow all of these steps. There should be a code over here with a link. You can simply head on over to your browser and then just type in the link in the code. Once you do all that, you can go into your mod browser. Go to mod.io. Go over to browse games, bowl lab. And then you'll simply log in here and click subscribe to any of the mods you want. Then once you're back into the game, it should tell you all the mods you're subscribed to and you can click download all. So obviously the entire point of this update was just to improve the experience of Bone Lab. So for some of these things, you will either notice them or not notice them at all. Like one of the things apparently is that weapon handling is a lot better. Oh, Arthur Ford, you're gonna you're gonna help me show you. So here, let's just test some uh some uh, basic combat. <clears throat> Also, apparently the NPC animations are supposed to be better, so let's see. We're supposed to stop now. Also, smaller graphical things like the blood are uh, better. Here, right now, I'll go ahead and show you. So let's get ourselves a little noble body. So you'll notice there's like a little bit more like blue, I guess. Also, apparently things like parkour are supposed to be like much better now. It's supposed to be a lot smoother, I guess. So let's test it out. Oh yeah, that, I, I just went up way easier. Also, smaller things like the sound effects for slapping are different. So I was replaying through the campaign, obviously just to check out the update, and there were actually a few small changes that I noticed. First of all, wh what is this? I'll be completely honest, this, this looks like Half-Life 2 with lots. Alright, so that concludes this video. Make sure to share this to any of your friends to let them know about all the info on the new update, and I hope this helped inform you on the new update. See ya! Wow.